uh, I think we can actually start this. So I figured uh, first things, uh, I'll do a recap. So uh, for those who watched the last devlog, I was feeling uh, sick. I, start, I was starting to feel sick when uh, the last devlog and it was actually COVID. So I spent the entire week uh, doing barely any work. And that's why the last dev, uh, the, the beta version, uh, version 1.5 is kind of delayed, but uh, I, but the last week I was able to do some some work and uh, it's pretty uh, it's almost done, except for the distress signals. For those who are familiar, uh, that's yeah, damn COVID. Yeah, uh, the distress signals are the only thing that's left for me to for the to start the to launch the next the next version which is 1.5. So I couldn't do everything I wanted, but we're getting there. And this, this is not the best time to get COVID, actually. This, it wasn't the best time, because uh, I have an announcement, as you, as you know. Um, so the game will be releasing or getting out of early access on, the, on August 3rd, so in a bit less than a month in uh, yeah so it's launching next month uh, so probably you have two questions uh, one is is the game uh, completed and at the same time is the game finished so actually uh, is the game completed i think uh, yes the game feels completed uh, actually right after the right after the, the I started early access, many people would say the game uh, was completed, feel completed, but obviously it wasn't for me. But um, right now I feel the game, um, it's not fair to the game and actually I, not even to me and to the players to say that the game is early access because the game feels really completed in many, many aspects and uh, I think it's for the most of for the amount of fun you can have in the game i'm i'm pretty confident uh, to be honest i really think it's completed and uh i don't think it's fair for many players who are missing the experience also because i've been doing the i've been developing it for 6 years a bit more than 6 years now and i think it's very complete in the sense that you can have a l many hours of fun in it However, is it finished? Uh, absolutely not. As I've said, I, I said many times before, uh, the game, the game, I will, I will continue developing, just as I am now. But I think it's time to get out of early access. Uh, I really think it's not fair to, <laughs> to keep calling Star Valor early access. Uh, I mean, I, it, the game is very polished. Yes, it lacks some things. Uh, especially uh, end game and some kind of goals which I'll be focusing in the this last uh, month of development but yeah I, I think it's time to to get out of early access a, a lot of people are missing it because many players don't don't buy early access games because they play they, they think the game is you know incomplete or full of bugs and can be played and I mean uh, Star Valor <laughs> I, Star Valor is already delivering um, a um, a tons of content, and people here will probably uh, will probably uh, say uh, the same thing. And so, since I'm, I will be, I will still be developing the game for at least one year. So uh, this will not change. My patrons will not change the the content. I will be developing my, my YouTube channel to deliver guides for people but uh, yeah I think it's overdue I we need to g get out of early access and get this thing behind because it's honestly uh, the game is kind of stuck in the in the state of in this early access thing unfortunately because I, I think early access is great and I think it helps a lot of the on the developers because as I 
I always say my community is great. I have been receiving a lot of uh, awesome help from from the community community. And I, I really like early access because of that. And and I can give back to the players because they pay a, a lot less for joining early and then they, uh, they can have a voice on it. And I can start getting paid. That's the, <laughs> that's the that's the important part also. Because we need to pay the bills and you can't keep developing the game for forever and never launch because the game will never be completed. It will never be finished. Star Valor has so... It, it can be so deep, it can go so deep in many uh, features, it can, have, it can have so many things that I, I don't see myself uh, at one point saying, well, now Star Valor is finished. Because honestly, I, I have so many things that I want to add to the game. But yeah, of course, most of the, some of them are kind of impossible for now, maybe later, maybe, I, I don't know. But the thing is, the game is uh, feels very completed, and uh, and uh, so we'll be getting out of early access next next month. Uh, but as I said again, uh, I will keep developing it. I'll continue developing it. Nothing will change in that regard. But I hopeful uh, hopefully we'll see some new people joining us, and of course the game will have a price increase because uh, there there's been three years of development without any price increase and uh, the game is a bit cheap to be honest <laughs> and uh, so there will be a price increase and so if you bought the game now you, you, you have paid less which is pretty pretty good I think and so there's that I just wanted to, to say to announce and uh, let me see a bit of the questions here Yes, I will keep yes NXG. I will keep working on it, as I said. Uh, DLCs, yeah, DLC is a is a interesting point because pretty much everything that is on my roadmap, if you check Steam, uh, there's a roadmap. So there will be a lot of updates, uh, free updates that I I already I I will deliver it without any any uh, any DLCs like uh, mega structures. Uh, well, uh, there, there's a lot of things there. Uh, another uh, more quests, more uh, ships, more roles, and uh, a lot of things. They will be updated with not with no cost. Some things though, uh, like uh, there's been talking about uh, station development, st uh, base building, and station building. This will probably be. Uh, a DLC later because I wanted to make it a bit more more uh, complex. So uh, so it's probably go. Uh, this will probably be a DLC, and I want to add more factions like more new ships as DLCs. But I will always be uh, updating the game, like I I like I used to do now, uh, like once a month, or maybe once every two months with content updates of course bugs fi bug fixing also but i will always bri bring new content that's how i always been doing so no point in changing that but of course uh, later on when i feel that uh, this roadmap is um, getting close to completion or at least uh, most of it done uh, i will consider dlcs because to be honest uh, that's one one way to keep developing it, you know, because I I'm, I don't know how much the game will keep uh, uh, the the revenue will keep going. And so far, it, it is good. It is uh, keeping me. Uh, it, it is allowing me to work on the game, uh, especially because I have many. I have my patrons. I have uh, the revenue from the game. It's not great, but it's it's keeping me working on it. And so, I intend to keep doing that. For a long time, you know, but of course that some things that require um, a bit more work will probably come in DLCs, and actually uh, also because uh, like factions and uh, uh, like a new faction with new ships, it involves works that uh, that I'm not doing like uh, ships, 
you know, in uh, I might uh, I might do a collaboration with one, with uh, Zero Not, my friend, or or Warsaw for bringing uh, to bring new ships. So that can uh, I think that's a good uh, content to be launching on DLCs. So, but okay, uh, I think that's it then um, for the the announcement. That was pretty much what I wanted to add. Uh, to state, let me just check the, the, the new the chat. Uh, more ships. We need more, we need end game and more ships. Yeah, uh, end game. As I said, I will be before launch uh, la for the next month. Now I will be doing the the missions. Like the uh, I will be adding uh, COT and end game missions as well as Fengi. So the first it, this will be the first end game uh, missions. Uh, which will be the combat related. So you'll be able to join either the COT and the, the fight against the Vengi or the opposite. And I will be, I want to add other uh, win, winning conditions later. Like, yeah, it's a sandbox game, so the game will not end, but it will be kind, sort of, um, sort of a, a finish to the game, you know? And uh, one will be true combat so defeating the Vengi or defeating the COT and establishing the Vengi Empire. Uh, the other, another winning conditions I want to add is uh, through uh, probably later on, later on, uh, uh, through economy, through ec uh, like an economic winning or economic victory, victory, which uh, will be probably related to factions and lots of mining and. Uh, Acquiring a certain amount of money. I, I, I haven't decided yet, but something related to economy and another and then a kind of a scientific uh, victory which will be probably something related to exploration and In fact exploration is something I'm adding in this uh, in this uh, update now Well at least a bit a little bit more of more uh, exploration things to do so uh, let me just see here uh, before I pass to the features, the 1.5 features. Let me check a bit of questions here regarding quests, especially for in game. Will passengers and taxing be put in before it leaves or the access? We were some no, no, not really. I hate the passengers will be added later, a bit later on, because well, you have only a month until early access. And passenger passengers, uh, yeah. Uh, Obviously, we need those because we have passenger ships and we have the the syndicate. And but yeah, probably uh, after after we we'll, we leave early access. Captain Herlock, please don't just uh, go the DLC route with non-stop to get more money. I've already bought two copies of the game and I have hundreds of hours in it. Oh no, yeah, I, as I said, I would I will keep uh, developing uh, the game further with lots of uh, updates. DLC will be something uh, sporadic, uh, not not constant. <laughs> I don't plan to. Game is worth three times what I paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I I don't know about three times, but yeah, th thank you. Uh, thank you for this awesome game. Bought it in September 2019 and had a lot of fun. Thank you, uh, Jenny. Can uh, welcome. We need an end game like capturing all sectors. Yeah, the, 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 it's kind of what I'm doing, but capturing all sectors, <laughs> I'm not sure. We can uh, we can add a goal like that, but anyway. <laughs> uh, Luis Fernandes, meu amigo, seu jogo é incrível, parabéns, sempre indico ele nas redes. Okay, that's Portuguese, thank you very much, Luis Fernandes. He's saying that game is amazing and he always uh, he's always uh, telling his friends about the game. Thank you. Uh, is there any going to be any modding, uh, modding ability support after launch? Might encourage more uh, few people that are into that, especially with how stable the base game is and how many resources there is for Unity. Yeah, I I I, I intend to get into that in more detail later on. Uh, for now, I have so many things I I, I want to do that I can't. As you know, I'm a solid dev. I have too many stuff to program and to do. So I will have 
but I have to take a look at that uh, later on. But the way I'm doing st uh, things in the game, as you can see here, I have uh, this. Uh, this is this 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 screen here is the uh, my equipments, my equipment. Uh, so each one is one equipment, and the way it's done, uh, it's not hard to to do some some uh, some kind of interface for modding, for so you can uh, so modders can change this and uh, to integrate with some f some sort of whatever editing so the game is structured in a way that it's not um, it's not hard to to allow some modding and configuration not to mention the start the the, the new game screen uh, which i'll be adding a lot more stuff later on as long as uh, as soon as i have the car base uh, the, the car game done we can add many things. Um, I don't mind DLCs, but for example, ship DLC can be a bit critical. For example, we need a ship class for every faction, for every fraction. But after that, it's finished. Additional ships would be nice. Yeah, uh, we have many ships, uh, which needs uh, roles now, and uh, these here are the the current ships, and I, I think half of them has no role yet. But one of the things I'm adding now in this uh, in this uh, version is uh, it's the the freighter role. So I guess I will start with the, fe the features. This let me start the game here. This one is, this is one of them. Um, let me just check here. So yeah, uh, I'm adding the freighter role, and this is the its bonuses. It gets a built-in uh, improved improved tractor beam. It's not a basic tractor beam; it's improved one, and it has a warp towage power of 100. So, uh, no, oh yeah, uh, Nova Cat is here. I, yeah, is he is watching it? I think. <laughs> He's not in the YouTube chat, but so uh, we'll get there in a sec. The, since I was talking about the the freighter, then here it is. So the idea is um, that freighters have a built-in tractor beam to to tow ships around, and you can increase it by having a towage array. And now you can see it here in the wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, better. You can see the towage power here in the in the ship stats, and many I, I've added other things as well. So one of them is the loot detection range. So if you remember, we had this this uh, radius here. This is the scanner radius, which is this one, and this outside is the loot detection. So as you can see, these dots here are outside of my scanner range. They don't show here, but you can see the the box here. So when you detect them outside of your scanner range, they will show as little boxes here, and it, it works similar to the uh, to this the waypoints. As as you get closer, they become uh, bigger. So if I go here, it will just show as normal dots. I maybe I, I'll change that to to make it appear as the the actual the same as the box that you saw earlier, like this one here, like this box. I don't know, um, it might change, but for now it's it's a blue dot like this. So um, okay, let me just get grab my here. Okay, so uh, so this is the the freighter uh, role, and the cool thing about them is because one of the changes also uh, I actually doubled the the amount of derelict ships that spawn in in, in the sector. However, eighty percent of them, that is most of the ships, will spawn outside the the normal grids, normal sectors. So this uh, this uh, range, 
this loot range is a lot bigger for strong signals. Strong signals are uh, derelict ships or uh, distress signals, which I'll be adding uh, a bit later. So the strong signals are ships or other stuff like uh, quests and, and distress signal. And for this, uh, the the range is 50% uh, bigger than the loot, the normal loot detection. And uh, this value can be increased by perks, by uh, there is a perk I'll show you later, the, the perks that can increase this uh, ship detection uh, range. So I know there is a ship around here, I'll just show you. I will be getting out of the map and then eventually there will be a warning. Let me just check the audio, if you can hear the, the game audio. Well, I think 50 is okay. So. Let's just see, there will be a warning. Mm. Oh, see? Uh, it detected a uh, defender, there was a sound warning. And the same sound uh, will, will uh, play when you find uh, the uh, uh, ancient relic flying around and you can see here the ship telling uh, telling you where where you need to go because since you it's off the grid you can't uh, it's harder to navigate so you can I just found here and you can go to some place to sell it syndicate there's a syndicate here uh, this is also new, and I don't, I'm, I'm not, I don't recall if I already said this in the NAS, uh, latest devlog. I think, I think so. I think I showed you before. Okay, so let's move down to this sector here. So yeah, uh, the the freighters, uh, of course, the net they naturally have uh, more cargo space, so nothing there. I I, I think that. It wouldn't make sense to uh, it wouldn't make sense to just increase their cargo capacity because it's nothing special. So uh, instead of that, they will start with uh, towing capacity, and you can actually hunt for more uh, ships now because they they will be more common. Um, okay. Let's follow a bit of questions. Blah, blah, blah. No. Okay. Tarps on gunships. Oh yeah. Uh, dominance. Roll dominator. <laughs> Are you releasing a beta in, in a few hours? Uh, I I think so. Yes. Uh, as I said, I I'm still missing distress signals, but there's a lot of cool stuff here, and in, including this. Uh, this uh, these icons here exploration is much more fun now because uh, as you, you notice that any loot will appear here it will show when, when, it, when it's detected let me just show you just like the let's check oh there's no loot here there can be explosive detected see so yeah, we in an escape pod. So now you can uh, you can uh, really tell uh, before going to to these dots. You can already tell what they what they are. So the explosives here, and this here is the icon for the escape pod. Naomi, so we have here, and so exploration is a lot more fun now. Oh, uh, and then. The explorer uh, also changed. It's adding flat bonus to loot detection, and uh, of course for the strong signal as well. You can see there, strong signal is spaceships and distress signal. It's 50% uh, higher than the loot, the normal loot. This might change, but for now that's it. Uh, the explorer bonuses also add a, a faster warp drive charging, which Nova Cats will love that. And uh, and it reduced the warp cost. 
So I decide. I, I think that as a a ship that that wants to move around to sell things and freight, uh, this is especially good for freighters. So they can uh, they can warp out uh, more cheap. Like eventually, the explorer can be good for for uh, for freighters, but you can uh, well it's good for anyone like most of the knowledge they are usually good for su for uh, many uh, play styles but not not all like fleet commander obviously is not uh, useful for uh, space pilots for for solo pilots but usually you can find some use for any of the of the knowledge f of the the knowledge we have so this is a pretty, it's kind of a different one, but it helps in in some uh, play styles. Um, how to get the beta version? I thought I looked in the Steam options for the game and didn't see. Yeah, Captain Herlock. Uh, for now, the beta is for the. It's a closed beta, but uh, patrons can join it uh, if they uh, pat patrons from the second tier on which is the pilot tier uh, you get the access to the beta and it's not uh, you, you don't need to report or test things it can you just have uh, access to play how you want and uh, if you want you can uh, join the discord and uh, join the actual testing and you know uh, get your feedback it's a, and so oh ancient relic see there it is and there is a sound warning and it's on the map so if it actually gets out of my range as you can see here it becomes the the actual model so let's just grab it so I'm sure people will like this and uh, just to be clear then uh, f this is my loot radius because this uh, this one, my scanner uh, my scanner power is 240, but my look detection range is, is a lot higher. For some things, for uh, first is because I have the scavenger scanner, which is a new item. Oh, sorry, uh, <laughs> I am skipping questions. Yeah, uh, let's save these questions for later. Actually, I I, I need to focus a bit on here but I, I will just I, I will get to, to the questions in, in a second just let me get this um, so scavenger scanner uh, is just a, like a normal scanner but with twice the loot detection range because the basic scanner has now a hundred loot detection range so when you start the game let me just save here when you start a new game let me just uh, when you start the game, you get this the basic scanner, which has a loot detection range of 100. So your loot detection is actually pretty small at first, which is this here. So uh, it's a, it's something that you that you want you, you you might want to invest, considering the explorer uh, will increase it. So let me say let me uh, let's see if I get some explorer like five points I get a 50 loot detection range so it's already bigger here so as as always it's kind of a uh, depends on what you, you are doing if you are exploring a lot if you are fully exploring sectors if you are exploring new sectors if you are finding tin head workshops all these special exploration things will increase your explorer uh, also finding special debris fields those which, which are hidden they also level your explorer so yeah the, this this kind of things will will get you the certain uh, bonuses based on exploration and uh, finding normal stuff which you like uh, stations and uh, this will not level currently the, uh, it doesn't level your explorer but so yeah you, you it has to be sort of a play style you need to be explorer and some people do it uh, normally they uh, they tend to explore fully explored sectors anyway so they will benefit from this 
so you can see here I have the slightly just a bit of exploration and once I explore a new sector it ramps up so yeah um, I think okay so what question was it um, half of the warp change rate he's half the warp charge rate oh that's cost now that's cost now just reduce header yeah it's 70 75 uh, percent uh, it was it was a hundred it was one percent one percent for per point I don't remember I think it was but it's now 0.75 percent per point Uh, what was your question again? NXG. He's keeping my question. OCD. Wave achievement. One of them. <laughs> yeah. For those who always always get OCD, you you will uh, you will have a big explorer points here. But as always, you, you don't you don't need explorer to play the game. You can you can just uh, get loot loot as normally. You know, you you still see stuff flying. Oh, uh, actually, let me check one thing. The if you um, for for example, if you mine something like or destroy an enemy, the loot will appear normally. But base uh, fixed loot like the derelicts and the stuff that comes with the sector, we will not see. The, the name, the label name, unless it's inside your your loot radius. I'm not sure I, I mentioned that in the last devlog, but yeah. So you might, if you have a, a short loot detection range, you might, <laughs> you might skip uh, loot passing by you, because you, you, will, you, you, will, you will not see them here. Um, Okay, uh, are tops fixed on gunships for the next beta? Yes, the, the, the actually, it's not completely fixed because. But w what I did was um, gunships. I showed in the last devlog. Gunships uh, add forty projectile speed, and the way torpedoes work is. The way torpedoes work is that they get a bit, uh, their range increase. Let's see. Yeah, it's still the the torpedo range increase when uh, because they are slow. <laughs> how do how can I put this? There's too many, too many thing, too many stuff going on here. So. The torpedo has uh, a lower, uh, low, low, very low speed and very low range. But when you move and you fire the torpedo or any other, any other projectile, your speed, your ship speed adds to it. So it actually gets a lot farther instead of let's say uh, 70 range. It gets a lot farther because you are moving and you're your uh, ship momentum is added to the projectile and the, the, the problem is gunships add a lot, spe a lot, a lot 40 speed to projectiles including the torpedoes so the problem is if you make torpedo too fast too much fa much faster it, it will get it will reach the here it will reach the its range much sooner so you can actually you can end up blowing yourself. So for now, yeah, uh, you have to, <laughs> you have to, you have to launch it and immediately go, go away, or else you're going, you, you're getting blown up. See, blown up. I said it. I said it right this this time. So yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to fix this. As I said, uh, we'll be testing in beta. So what I did was uh, to make the the torpedo actually get less of the 40 uh, projectile speed. It gets it, it was getting 20% of that, 
and now it's getting uh, 10% of that so it's getting 4 instead of 8 and <laughs> booster yeah so I don't know yet how I'm going to actually fix this I maybe I have to la uh, leave it to zero so torpedoes will not get any of the projectile speed bonuses will just stay at fi uh, five but yeah five but yeah uh, I don't know oh uh, this the uh, this uh, I, <laughs> I'm testing this like an idiot but th this is this was crafted by Lady Hawk uh, before the change I made so it's not this is still still with the with the still uh, this is still with the old uh, bonuses so th if you craft the same torpedo now it should say project projectile speed 9 instead of 13 so it will stay a bit longer flying uh, which maybe it will help we'll see so uh, if I start the beta to tonight or tomorrow the Lady Hawk and Nova Cat will be able to test this and next G I think and it's NXG I don't know who else are, in, are into torpedoes there's not many things many people most of the players uh, either don't like the torpedoes or don't know how to use it so yeah uh, apparently that Lady Hawk yeah made some en enemies well the Red School only but yeah okay okay I have a uh, few more things let's see is it, is it possible to add uh, is it possible to rename to rename game saves not not right now I may eh, I, I may be able to add it add it later is it possible to add the ability to start the starting ships like the tier or ship or ship type for when starting a new game yeah this has been requested so I'll probably have to do this like in here right like sort this the ships they are being sorted by size and then the factions and the factions start here so once this this uh, from the rising sun this is our these are all uh, dependent then faction and in the faction it's also sorted by size but yeah I, uh, I can see myself doing <laughs> having adding a sort button here um, can't you increase the torpedo distance based on the bonuses like other projectiles yeah uh, the torpedo distance can also can can uh, can be added also but then if you if I add even five or ten uh, range extra it's going to fly a lot longer uh, normally so maybe I have to do it uh, only for gunships which would be weird which uh, it's not the card kind of hard coding thing I tend to do so it's kind of a kind of a weird thing <laughs> the way it's set but yeah, it's going to be fixed real real soon don't worry uh, I would make it so that the torpedoes have a range increase along with the speed increase yeah uh, the problem is the gunship bonuses don't do that so like let me see this is a gunship it, it increased projectile speed for by 40 so it will be it will have to be some kind of hard coding for torpedoes and I usually I usually like to, to do some things that work like for anything not just one uh, one particular uh, weapon type so not the best not the ideal solution I'd say but yeah maybe Weaver song I like torpedoes oh yeah yeah Weaver <laughs> Weaver yeah Weaver is a small ships flyer also for those who don't know Weaver is a moderator and also a good supporter <clears throat> long time supporter I'd say okay so 
uh, I'll just pass. Uh, I'll just uh, show the little, little, little things, and then we'll get to actual questions. So this, this is also a change. The when ship graveyards now has this icon, as well as the asteroid rushes, they have sort of the icons. So it's better to. It's going to be uh, hard, <laughs> harder to to get you to accidentally hit uh, extra rush or whatever. And uh, the sector, the galaxy map looks cooler this way. This uh, I don't I don't remember. Yeah, I, I showed you before. Okay. <coughs> Zeru, Zeru. Since it's a specific problem with torpedoes, I would scale the range by a percentage of speed. Bonnie to account for that. Yeah, uh, yeah as I said, as I said, uh, I would have to do some special things to torpedo. Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, so other thing, another things. Uh, let's see, the heavy mount. This is this is a cool change. I'll also. The heavy mount now uh, doubles the free boosters you have. So the heavy mount w for crafting uh, used to be a bit of a, a bit not not good. Not it wasn't in a good place. It was kind of a weak. But now it doubles your free boosters. So let's say if you if you put two cars instead of two free boosters, you get four. So it's a lot better now. And the same time, I had to do this for point defense, which reduces by half, by half, because it lowers the uh, the size, the weapon size, by half. So, yeah, point defense gets a little, a little worse, and heavy mount becomes a bit more powerful. And now we have to compensate. We have the boosted. Oh, I need tech level 8. Okay. Wait. Speed pilot? No. I need tech level. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Now we have a boosted. Which simply adds 50% uh, of the free boosters. So let's say if I have like 4 red cores for free boosters. And I had this modifier here. It increases the materials and the energy, but you have more boosters to use. So that's simply more uh, options for crafting, which is, I think it's always good, as long as it's balanced. But that's why, <laughs> that's what beta is for. Um, general solutions are great, but if problem is specific to one weapon, some hard code exceptions for that weapons are mostly likely the only solution. Yeah, uh, I actually I have to evaluate if we actually need this, like the 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 extra speed for for a weapon, which is it only gets the mostly gets the the ship momentum as a speed. So I'm not use, I'm not sure that it even needs to be faster because it probably. Problem uh, barely gets affected by the actual speed, so maybe I just zero it and we'll see. Uh, what about continuous? It also doubles weapon size. Does it double free booster? Yeah, I, I thought about that, but no, because it's actually it's pretty good already. The continuous is a powerful. Uh, Right now, it's a powerful uh, d DPS increase, so it wouldn't be fair. I well, unless I wanted to rem uh, reduce the damage, but yeah. So it's not uh, just by doubling size, but the the thing is, point defense. Point defense, we uh, you can just compensate by adding another, and then you get the same. Uh, you get a. If you add point fence, so this is a two-point uh, weapon. If you add point fence, you would have to add 
more cores and you have the same sp uh, same weapon with uh, but with uh, drones and missiles being uh, able to hit so it's kind of a powerful thing even though the dps diminishes a bit but it is this is pretty good so uh, we'll see how it goes but i thought the point defense actually needed it it was actually a suggestion by Novacat. Uh, boosted looks really good. Yeah, it's going to add a lot more uh, customization to it. Point defense was already really good, so I'm fine with that nerf. Yeah, he was. Thank you for taking the time to do this feed and explain things. Oh no, no problem. Well, uh, this uh, I I wish I was doing this way uh, long before. But I, you know, I was so busy doing making the game, and I, I wasn't paying attention to this devlog things. Then, but I think it's uh, good. I like it to talk to the community because, um, well, I'm making the game for you, and so this is this is one way to to reach. Besides all the Discord and forums and all that, that sort of thing. Uh, okay, let me check the Discord. Mm, I don't question. Novacat. Oh, Novacat. Oh, I, I will show the, the the Phantom in a second. There's a lot of questions here, but <laughs> let me let me see. Regarding quests, especially for Endgame, will passengers and taxis be put in before? Ah, okay. I already answered that. Okay. Another question. Uh, the hundred on the left of the new warp meter. Is this going to mean one can have higher than regular max warp charge? A hundred on the left on the new warp meter. New warp meter? Uh, do you mean the... Oh, okay. Uh, that's... Uh, that's for when you are towing uh, spaceships, right? Uh, no, that's just the... That's just when... Uh, when we are towing some uh, another spaceship, uh, spaceship model, they, it will show two two meters. Your normal meter and the the warp towing uh, ship towing meter. I'm not sure. So that's that's what it was about. Uh, let me see. I don't in the galaxy map. Yeah, okay. I don't think I. I'm not, I'm not sure I answered it, but. So uh, it wasn't uh, that wasn't a change. Uh, it wasn't like that. It was like that before. Anyway, yeah, been so long since I told. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably <laughs> why. Uh, let me check. Where is the chat again? Okay, here. Boosted. Okay. What else? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just go over a little changes here, so you can ask questions if you want. So uh, the exploration uh, exploration tree used to add three percent scanner range per point. Now it's two, so it's a bit of a nerf. But that's because lots of uh, exploration and scanner things are being added. So I think it's it's uh, it's better this way. Two percent per point per point is uh, pretty good. What else? Experience per ah yeah. So this is a new perk, just so you know. Uh, just similar to the, all the other, other, other perks. We now have the extra astronomy, which bonds explorer too, just like this. Uh, bonds uh, space pilot and fleet commander, and uh, tech level geology, etc. Okay, well, let me see what else I have here. Oh, uh, yeah, the loot finder is also a is another uh, equipment. It's the it's one of the computers like the 3D Codex, the Pathfinder. There is the loot finder, which increases your loot detection range and plays a sound. So that sound you 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 heard when I uh, found the uh, ancient helic in the the ship it was from this loot finder here 
if you don't have it, it will just show the message and will not uh, sh uh, not play any sound. Bing, bing, bing. Okay. What else? Questions? Novacat says in regard to the oncoming change to charge. Uh, it possible to alter the charge mechanics to increase the uptime to 45 to 48% from the current 40. Charge mechanics. Oh, the, the crafting. Well, this will help smooth the, cur the curve. The extreme increase is sustained charge DPS that starts out so weak but ends up overcompensating by the current flux bonus. Yeah, uh, the issue is uh, I I don't have um, I don't have um, uh, variable stats, only fixed for each uh, charge added. So I have to change a little on that like like the charging here each charge I add will will uh, multiply so I'd have to do specific uh, specific uh, modifiers per per charge added which I don't have yet it's all fixed so yeah, I'm energy cost. Maybe I'll see. Uh, I'll I'll see what I can do there. Naturally, what sort of changes have you made to the Phantom? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll get to the Phantom. See the initial peak so long ago. I can see the thought. Oh, the thought. Yeah. I I I don't know if I can show the thought. Let me just. Okay, I think I can show the the Phantom Mark II for those who like to fly small ships. Uh so I first I'll show the the Zero Knot model, the one he made. So I didn't like it very much. Which is unusual because usually I love his ships, <laughs> and this is it. I I wasn't a fan of it. This is for those who don't know the Phantom. Well, I I think pretty much everyone knows the Phantom. So this is the Phantom. This is the Phantom, and this is the Phantom Mark II. Uh, as I said, I I wasn't really a fan like but it's not bad it's it's cool but i'm liking this top view <laughs> the top view yeah this will be the top view well let's use this this is the top view um it's not bad but yeah i'm not sure and then i i actually made a few changes here to the I made some variations so this is the phantom this is the normal phantom Wait. Mm -hmm. okay this is the normal phantom then I did some variations here so just to to mess around with with it and this they're pretty similar but so I, I wasn't convinced by any anyone. <laughs> I didn't like any one of those, but and then oh, in the the Mark II would be here. So we could put it to a vote. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I wasn't happy with anything any of those, so I didn't add them. I they are still waiting to be. Um, sexy. <laughs> Little Zeus. Okay, let me see the chat. I'm liking this top view. We're getting somewhere. I'd say maybe the main gun barrels. The full size of the wingtips, though, instead of poking out the sticks. Uh, instead of poking. Uh, I don't know. Guess I could ask. Uh, Zeronauts will do it again. I don't know. <laughs> Port is terrible. Seriously, the new model. The new model is nice. Okay. 
yeah, I think if if you people like it, yeah, no problem. I'll just add the one, add this one, the the new one. Um, or th let me let me grab um. Let me just check uh, the other question, the other things I I have to show. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know if uh, I don't know if you if people have read the devlog, but I'll keep showing this. Oh, it's not this, not what I wanted. <coughs> so. Uh, Another change is uh, every Vengi ship now has a co-pilot seat because uh, Vengi, the Vengi ships were a bit behind for, uh, on the end game because they they have no crew, but they they all have co-pilot seat now. Even uh, well, except this one, except the V1, the others have the the, the yacht and the Corvette. They already had. Uh, Co-pilot seats, but now the big ships also have one, and it makes a lot of difference for the battleship and the carrier and the gunship. So yeah. Oh, this little guy here in the last devlog, I said that it was in a bad place, so the squire received a double barrel, <laughs> as you can see there. It has a cute double barrel gun mount because it, it always ha it has only two weapon space, so we know it has double barrel. Uh, one thing that also uh, it was missing is this here. You, you have a, we have a set control here. We used to have set control here, but now we have also here. So and and uh, many players were confused they they would get to this this uh, screen the, the, this place and they wouldn't know how to to set the the auto and mouse so now we have a button here so just small adjustments um what else oh yeah the fleet the fleet commander this is also like a quality of life the fleet commander now shows the cost per per ship size, as you can see there. So if I add the fleet commander, now it shows the how many points I have. Maximum fleet size is five points, and then the cost per the cost per ship size size class. Um, what else? Just a few more things here, and then I'll just um, okay reader. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, and then there's this this new perk here, which is the traveler. Well, uh, okay, yeah. Well, let's let's just uh, show a spoiler here. So this is the 25 uh, knowledge explorer. So as you can see, dub it doubles your loot detection range for strong signals, which means uh, ships and uh, distress signal. So now you you can if you start with this this perk, you can start hunting for uh, derelicts for ships uh, right from the start. Okay, questions. Uh, why did you decide against randomness for items but embraced it for crew? They become less useful when they learn something unless and leveling a new one means missing the stats of the old one. Uh, okay, I have to process this because. <laughs> um, guess I'm not sure. Oh yeah. Uh, well, uh, I I like to make uh, to have different things in the game. So, uh, and a bit of randomness is good. So I we don't have random 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 stats for items. The, their random is in the drop and the 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 rarity, and uh, so I, I decided to do a bit a uh, bit different for the for the crew. So uh, it's a bit uh, a bit of randomness is good here. I think I think it fits, and also because I wanted to I needed to use uh, some kind of uh, bonuses. 
I already had implemented. So these bonuses here, like weapon heat generated and the intercepted bonuses and the independent bonuses, uh, they are all the same system I used in the in the crew. So yeah, I I had to use some things that I already or that that were already in the game. Sorry, let me just grab some water here. You already told us about Traveler in Devlog. Yeah, yeah, uh, but well, not many, not not everyone is is in the Discord. So <laughs> some things I can show here. The engine effect and weapon effects. Did you make them uh, with the particle system? Yep. Uh, let me show you quick. Quick show you here. Uh, yeah, the the ships. These are the the thrusters. This is the normal thruster. Is a particle system with the full mesh and thruster. This is the the image. It has an HDR feature here. There. A pretty standard. Uh, a particle shader here and so uh, this uh, well it has a, a random uh, size so it keeps blinking like that it's not blinking but uh, changing size and in the game it's added uh, there's a, the the spaceship code this well it's not here because this is the the ship model the spaceship uh, script will instantiate a uh, trail render here for those familiar familiar with it's just a trail which will make the it uh, so it's a different different thing it's a separate thing the trail and the, the thrusters there's a particle system and it has audio system in one of them to show the to to play the engine but it's this is only the engine is only on the on the player player ship <clears throat> okay, so I think the the things I I had for the to show I think that was it. Now we can, uh, yeah, the the ship, the thought. I don't know how to call that thought thought. I will leave it for some other time. <laughs> Uh, look forward to the beta being released. Yeah, uh, new map features are nice. Cool. Uh, the engine effect. Okay, how increase weapon equipment or cargo value in dominance? How to increase? Oh, uh, you can increase. Let me. You can increase uh, cargo with uh, skills and uh, like cargo weapon space and equipment space. You can. You can this is a general gameplay question but that's fine you can increase it with this skills here so this will increase uh, the equipment, equipment space and this the weapon space and this the cargo space other than that you have perks to that can increase uh, sizes uh, weapon size and that's uh, for any ship so there's not uh, a particular uh, dominance way to increase What else? Um, are there any resources you would recommend for software developers with no game dev experience try to learn Unity as a hobby? Uh, resources. Well, uh, I there are many uh, tutorials in the in YouTube. I learned a lot from them. It's <laughs> it's a cliche to, to say it, but uh, yeah, you can learn a lot from from YouTube only. I I I've done many of their tutorials back in the day when I started uh, studying Unity and just experimenting make sure to experiment a lot of course you need a basic you need to know well we don't need to know programming but I'd say it's very uh, well I'm very comfortable to, to work with it but you can use some blueprints with uh, what's they called? I don't I don't even remember. Boat scripting. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think it's both. I don't know. But I usually do everything. I usually no, uh, not usually. I I do everything in in the uh, programming here. So th this is the mostly used scripts I have. <laughs> More uh, frequently used fr uh, scripts. And this is the new one I'm working on. So yeah, but uh, Unity is pretty easy to once you start once you get how it works like uh, how the scripts work and how you can set them to to work in the in the, the inspector here so uh, it, it's pretty pretty straightforward i i think uh, just get some tutorials in youtube like uh, i don't brackies was a good one uh, quill 18 was a good one there's the Thomas Brush, I think it's a general. I know I don't. He uses Unity, but I'm not sure he's done tutorials. But yeah, pretty much that. Um, non star value question. What would be a good tip for someone who wanted to start making a game? And yeah, I think that's. Uh, well, it, it depends a lot on uh, if you know programming already. Uh, if you know whatever, I I don't know. Who, Depends on your skills, what you have right now, right now or you don't. I think if you know a, a bit of programming, you can just get uh, grab Unity, install it, uh, go to some tutorials, basic tutorials, because it's the best way to get the introduction to Unity. If you just open Unity and start messing around, you, you probably will not get very far, like uh, in the time if <laughs> you use. So it's better to. We'll pop up some tutorials and start messing around it. Uh, we will we will get some kind of legendary items with game changing effects. For example, something that interacts in interesting ways with energy control would be cool. Interacts with energy. Yeah, uh, one thing one thing I probably going to do well after after launch, but still. Uh, is to add uh, a reactor uh, heat so one thing right now that I'm not very uh, not very happy about it is the energy control because what uh, I think I said it before but sometimes uh, most of the times what happens is you just crank everything in max here and well that's once you are able to do that, you will, will probably not change it anymore. So that's not ideal because you can add a lot of reactors. You can add uh, half of your ship full of reactors. So uh, I want to add some kind of uh, o reactor overheating or like, um, yeah, like uh, the same heat levels for the weapons that will be for the reactor. So uh, at the same time, I will be adding uh, weapons that interact with it, so you can have like a, a weapon effect, which uh, makes it heat uh, your your reactor, so or overheating or whatever. And at the same time, you can have equipment that uh, reduce the heat, so that sort of stuff. And uh, so this will probably uh, improve on the energy controls here. Because if you crank everything up, you will probably get your uh, reactor heat uh, way over the normal, making it overheating. So you either have to use uh, less less reactors, like less. Uh, for instance, you 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 need to use less uh, reactors, or like reduce your your energy control. So one or the other. Unless you have a uh, ship with a special effects, so yeah, it uh, sounds a bit complicated. Complicated now, but I think I will have to do something like that because I don't. I don't like the idea that once you get enough energy, you just crank it up here, which renders these things uh, pretty much useless. So it's uh, beyond the point. It, it defeats the purpose of it. I'm not saying I. I always use this. Uh, 
many times I keep changing in real time, like in, in so. But uh, many times I just crank it up, and it's so it's not ideal. But yeah, some energy energy uh, functionalities for new weapons that might be done. The legendary, the the orange items, will be able to. Uh, I'm adding in the mega structures update. Mega structures is something that I'm sure the those who like small ships are anxious about. I I'm I don't know. I, I know Novacat uh, is waiting patiently for it. <laughs> so it's going to be kind of dungeons, as I said uh, in the earlier devlog. And the mega structures will have some sort of uh, legendary drops, like materials or even, well, obviously weapons, but especially materials, so you can craft uh, orange items. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, how long has it been? I don't know. So let's see more questions. Uh, and Infensia has some nice splendor and unity tutorials. Okay, cool. Thanks for the for the suggestions. I uh, I haven't watched uh, many tutorials lately, but I used to watch a lot back in the day when I was uh, I I think like yeah probably yeah ten years ago when I started messing uh, with Unity um, ten or eleven years. Uh, there weren't many tutorials, but they're uh, th but they were pretty helpful. So yeah, mm -hmm. almost an hour twenty. Cool. Let me check. Uh, I don't think I have many things, many things, new things, I guess. Yeah. So it was basically prepare for descent, indeed. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Nova Cat said. Yeah, Descent. That's how you pronounce it, Descent. Uh, it's a old game. I, I played a lot of it. No, n not a lot, but I played it. It was the first game that gave that sense of uh, really 3D because you you didn't you didn't have a top or a down. You you just spin, and it was kind of disorienting in, at first, but it was uh, pretty cool. Yes, this end like that, cool. Um, let me check the Discord. There's so many things in Discord I, I can... Well, just uh, uh, if you have uh, more questions for me in the Discord, just mark it, just mark me, uh, mention me, and it will be a, uh, easier to see. Um, Lady Hawk. Uh, Shadow still did that. Adjusting one would affect the other two. Oh yeah, yeah, like spreading, like spreading total total reactor power. Mm, yeah, uh, one thing I could do is that, uh, like other games do that. Do do that. The uh, when you lower or when you increase your energy for one thing, it decreases in the other. I kind of don't like it that much because then it's it's pretty much the same uh, you can only uh, you can only prior prioritize one thing and I like it to having the freedom to crank everything up you know but the problem is when you, you just do that you just crank everything up and, and forget about it so that's not ideal either so well descent yeah Oh, uh, anyone here played Armada online? Armada is uh, Star Trek, right? Or no? Uh, I I remember playing something called Armada. I don't. I'm not sure if it was Armada, Star Trek Armada, or something, or Star Wars. No, no, it, it was Star Trek, I think. Um, my idea would be that you can crank things. Wait, crank things around. But we're changing baselines, thus diminishing returns and buffs. The yeah, maybe maybe diminishing returns could could work. If you crank all the three energy bars up, they would give uh, less than normal. Maybe Armada Online was not Star Trek Armada. Oh, okay, Armada. But I played it. Played it as a kid before I could read. 
I think it's dead. Yeah, probably. Christopher. Okay, think welcome to the Discord. Um I think we can wrap it up. One hour and two twenty one. Yeah, I see now. Okay. Um if anyone has any more questions can be game dev related or star valor related oh uh so uh suggestions uh now it's my question for those who are watching what would you think would be uh, a a good price for the game just as a curiosity how much would you pay for the game knowing how it is now and uh, Considering the, considering other games like it, and considering what, uh, how many hours of the game of game, of gameplay, you you get. Feel free to to post it if you want. I don't know. There's another thing uh, I wanted to ask from you, which is, oh, I don't remember. Well, hold on. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, Nova Cat, all things considered, maybe 25. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I was gonna say 25 US dollars or can a Canadian dollar. Okay, cool. Of course, that uh, that would be a base price because uh, every country has. Uh, it's alteration because uh, the, the way Steam works is that it considers the, each uh, country economy and alters the price. So it's not a, it's not a, a simple uh, conversion of the price. Otherwise, it would be very expensive in other countries, including here in Brazil. A normal change, a normal, uh, just a simple conversion of the price would be uh, like it's 15 now 15 dollars would be 30 in my uh, currency here uh it, it is 30 if 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 uh, a normal conversion would be used it would be like something like 75 so it would be a lot expensive and so yeah it's just a base price uh sigur i drop 15 to 20 always look for the sales though it's a good game and definitely getting better thank you 20 always has a universal appeal of accessibility yeah yeah cool thank you have you thought about including something like everspace to sig to signal scan system it has a temporary system outside of the regular system with something inter interesting in it you can't find normally hmm interesting I don't think I played Everspace 2, but that can be cool. Depends on the end game loop for me. If you find a way to keep me playing end game for 40 hours, I would consider it up to 40 euros fair. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't think I'm going all that that high because well, but yeah, uh, the end game, as I said, I will be adding at least one kind of end game now which will be to eliminate the Fengi or to eliminate the COT this I want to do now for the next month until the launch and this will be a baseline for combat end game or combat uh, winning condition like <laughs> you know I, I I don't know how I'm going to do this if I'm going to you know uh, finish the game and uh, say oh do you want to keep playing or I haven't thought about that but it would be a thing it would be a quest it would be a quest line and of course the for those quests for the Fengi to eliminate the, the the COT they you will be able to to build the their dreadnought which will be crafted only the the V V6 B which will be the the Fengi battleship uh, size 6 dreadnought so you'll be able to cr to build it and the the quest and then uh, obliterate the rest of the COT 
and the the opposite also. So in the CLT you will build the Zeus, the Zeus, which is the CLT Dreadnought, also a better ship. Very expensive, but yeah. So this will be kind of an end game to eliminate the other faction. It's a, a kind of a straightforward for now, but. Uh, as soon as I do the Faction Wars Part 2, which will be uh, later on. Uh, so, it will be... Uh, the, the the battles will happen automatically, so the Vengi will start to gain territory and uh, eliminate the, the CLT until they they are at the door of the, the, the main base for the CLT. And the opposite as well. So yeah, the, the CLT has uh, just a few bases, like uh, it's going to be a lot more, uh, it's going to be a work, a bigger work, <laughs> a lot more, a lot harder work to eliminate the Vengi because they have so many stations usually. And, uh, but yeah, so that will be the end game for the launch. And uh, after that, I will be adding, of course, more stuff. Uh, Weaver, I'd probably say about 20 to 30 US dollars, although personally, with over a thousand hours, <laughs> yeah, a thousand hours, I'd have been happy to pay 50. Whoa, but I suspect many people wouldn't feel that way. Yeah, 50 is a bit too, yeah, too much, I think, because, well, uh, what's the ch chance of you dropping that beta tonight? And thanks again for the hard work. Thank you, NSG. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I'll, I'll drop it. Yeah, I think I'll drop the how it is now, so you can start uh, doing the last testing. And along the week, I will introduce the distress signals, which will be new quests, kind of fun new quests to 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 add. And once that's uh, in the beta, we'll test it for one or two days, and probably th at the end of the week, I will launch it in the official uh, version. Uh, release it so yeah uh, I will launch the beta tonight it's right here it's 6 35 p.m. so probably around 9 or 10 I hope it's uh, a good uh, time for you you guys there mm-hmm okay about the price Captain Harlock I'd say 20 to 25 USD is fair cool 15 to 20 euros. Yeah, euros is a bit more than dola dollars. Optional DLCs, coffee for developer. <laughs> oh yeah, no content, just easy way to give you bonus money. Well, we, we have the Discord, uh, uh, we have the the Patreon for, for those who want to support me, just uh, pay me a beer or <laughs> you can, I don't know if I would do that, that as a Steam DLC with no content. Does people do that? I I don't think I've seen it, but yeah, it's an interesting idea. Eliminate the COT will be immediately completed when you accept the mission. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you already already eliminated it. Yeah, but uh, for the next when once I update this the 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 end game missions, the each faction will have a much stronger base, the main base be full of uh, turrets and I want to add turrets as well like um, well turrets will be just like uh, a ship though uh, it's going to be uh, fixed not uh, immovable immovable so just uh, spread out that uh, entire sector to fend off invaders um, we will have to post a new code who will who will uh, auto update yeah, update why aren't freighter bonuses geared towards freight cargo yeah uh it would be just just uh, lady hawk asked it would be uh, i was talking about it before because just adding more cargo doesn't make sense because the the freighters already have uh, a good cargo you know i can just increase their cargo and uh i was kind of out of ideas uh, related to that so I can just get, grab a ship, for instance, like the hauler is a freighter. I can just add more cargo here, so I don't need to do the freighter bonus, like, you know, like a cargo. Um, and so 
they need something a bit special like that like that so I thought of the the towing the towage power and the, the tractor beam also because uh, later on I, I want to add like missions where you can you need to tow some uh, asteroids to some certain base you know or whatever tow a ship back to its port you know, to its starport stuff like that so yeah to, to just to make the the freighter a bit uh, more different mm -hmm. okay well questions in discord uh, let me check here variety free well uh, let me just check the the music okay just a background music, uh, royalty free music here. Okay. A supporter back DLC, like Michael mentioned in YouTube chat, would be a good idea too. Some like me are more willing to give money through Steam than Patreon or another third party uh, site, Archeon said. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I guess it makes sense because uh, also I've heard that Patreon doesn't allow certain uh, pay. Uh, certain credit cards to pay like Nova was one of them the, so yeah maybe it makes sense yeah I will I'll consider that <laughs> oh Lady Hawk is not watching so I don't know if she got the oh okay Nova Cat, uh, Nova Cat already already answered it thank you Nova ship model Oh, 07 I don't recognize from that angle oh it's the, the Space Ranger see this one there we go yeah <laughs> uh, okay How about something like X% percent bonus selling, uh, reducing buying price if you buy over Y weight in one transaction for freighter? Yeah, the 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 bonuses, the the buy and sell bonuses are already tied to the miner, to the traders, like the trader trader faction. So that's also kind of out of the out of the out out of question because it's already somewhere else. But yeah, we can. Trader could have a global, maybe a global trader bonus. Uh, I'm thinking more of the, the the freighter as more of a towing and cargo ship, not 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 uh, specifically related to trading. So you can do jobs like like towing jobs, like uh, as I, like I said before. But yeah, maybe. I think. I think we we are getting to the end here. Um, so uh, about the price, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone for the feedback. It's actually uh, along the lines I was thinking, and also the the guys at Indie Bros, which are the PR company I hired. They, it's also in line with what they said so yeah the the price increase will probably be uh, around 25 dollars and uh, it's i think it's fair to the content and i think it's also fair to to you who are already bought the game so you are getting a, a much better deal for supporting me in this this early you know not only uh, you are also playing the game a lot earlier but yeah so I think it's going to be along this those lines but not definitive yet and actually one more thing I I wanted to say to want to talk about you uh, I, I mean I wanted to talk for uh, to you oh my English really <laughs> really sucks sorry uh, so uh, another thing to, uh, then is I about the wipe and reset the achievement reset I still uh, not sure how I'm going to do this and 
I probably need to reset the, the everything, but probably not the achievements on Steam, but still unclear, uncertain on that. I will try to leave it uh, optional for those who want or not, but yeah, uh, we'll see. Because so, just saying because the, there were people asking about it. Mm -hmm -hmm. Top might actually be its weakest angle. That side looking good. Oh, the this ship, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good ship. It's it. This is also a. This is also a base. Uh, base ship from the asset store. This ship, <laughs> the turret back there. I like the ship. It's not unique, but it's cool. <laughs> I'm not too worried about the clear one way or another. Achievements would be nice to keep, but don't really mind if and even if I lose the general death. Just a bit sad to lose all those legacy crafts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the save games also will probably be um, reset. I mean, you probably won't be able to use them. But it's nothing certain right now. I I will see what I can do about that. <laughs> but most likely, you will be uh, will we will reset everything. So we'll see. Uh, we reached 21 viewers. Cool. So it, this is already a, a bigger streaming, big, bigger live stream than the last one. So let's wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> wipe evil left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wipe. I can see wipe, wiping is not something uh, really. Not something people usually like, but but then again, the, there were people, there was there was uh, some players requesting it. So I, for one, I I like this. I like uh, wipes starting fresh. So <laughs> well, but we'll see. Okay, uh, I guess we'll end it up here. Any more questions? Feel free to ask in the in the chat, in the YouTube chat, or the general uh, on Discord. Or else, I'm going to close it here. And thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, again, this is the second live stream devlog. Uh, tell your friends to support the game, the, the the channel. I I usually I actually intended to add more guides to the to the YouTube channel before the launch. But yeah, there there was so many uh, things going on that I yeah I, there's no simple no no time to do this. But I will I'll do it uh, later anyway. I think the the channel has a uh, few uh, has uh, enough content. So con so when the the game launches, the people will have some uh, good uh, source of information like crafting, like. Uh, like ship builds or more at least they will get uh, more information about the game when deciding to buy it and i hope that uh, it's going to help we have other channels as well helping uh, in uh, gameplay videos and one of them is physics don't apply who is here uh, we have lots of streamers we have the well zerenthal is not here i'm not sure if well i haven't seen here uh, haven't seen him so he always uh, helps a lot with his streaming and twitch and uh, youtube um, i don't think there is is there any other streamer here besides physics don't apply well uh, lady hawk also streaming she has a, a youtube channel pretty cool as well so thank you all for that and uh, i hope we have enough content to uh, for next month when the game launches and uh, yeah I'm I'm actually pretty nervous about this because I have no idea if, if the game will be like if 
is it going to be just a launch like the early access is it going to be like when uh, i don't know well last year when we have the the bump from uh, spider cat video he actually made a video and it it made uh, the sales sky high <laughs> which was awesome and I don't know if it's going to happen again, or if it's going to be even bigger, or it's well, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, the launch, the early access launch, was everything I got from Steam, and so many things are unclear for me. Uh, I'm confident the there will be increase, there will be more players coming, which is nice, which is great actually, and uh, being able to lift the early access early access flag <laughs> and remove it i think it's going to be good overall and as i said i will continue developing the game it may be even more for at least one year or more so so yeah there's that and uh, so thank you all again it's been really really a, uh it's been a blast actually for the past four years especially well i before early access i worked alone uh, pretty much uh, for two and a half years uh, without any <laughs> any uh, financial return so but yeah so it's six years now and the early access is coming to to an end but the game is stronger than ever <laughs> and last time for questions if you have if you have one speak or only in the next devlog uh, Archeon I miss having size 4 weapons and size 3 hard points <laughs> but I can understand why a wipe is indeed yeah uh, the the uh, he's referring uh, he's talking about the Hephaestus which uh, was he had a uh, 4 points uh, 360 turrets which is now third a uh, three point so <laughs> you can't install for four point weapons there anymore um, there is also a fair amount of change that makes uh, some of the o older guides a bit of sub obsolete yeah sorry about that <laughs> the Nova cat is one for writing uh, awesome that uh, guides on Steam and there are some changes that <laughs> kind of mess up everything there but yeah gonna have to redo the uh, so many yeah that also but well if it's if it's for the better then it's understandable right phantom mark 2 defeating a level 55 ravager <laughs> yeah that's that's going to happen that's going to happen uh, uh, okay, what else? Thanks for the stream and the game. Best of luck with launch and getting over COVID. Yeah, I'm uh, about COVID. I'm pretty much uh, healed. Uh, I've been working for at least uh, the last week already, and so. But yeah, one, the first week I was pretty much useless. But thank you, Captain Captain Herlock. So uh, for those who doesn't who didn't subscribe to the channel, make sure to do so leave your feedback leave your uh, join us at discord our community is great so join us there thanks for everything and uh, we don't have any more questions okay okay then i guess we are wrapping it wrapping up here and I hope everyone liked the devlog. It was more of a chat this time with the future features, because as I said, I was I was uh, I had COVID for a week and couldn't be couldn't do much work. I will be doing uh, more devlogs probably in two weeks with the late the well I'd say the last changes before launch. So maybe I will show well. I, most likely we'll be able to show Zeus and uh, V6B by then so you can you can remind me of that and I'm sure you will <laughs> uh, 
Michael Kramer, do you plan on making a demo available? Not really. Uh, I think, yeah, some devs like demos. Uh, I think that the what what is happening right now is the demo. Do, you can buy the game in Steam, play for two hours, and uh, I think that's a uh, seven day. Uh, for seven days you can play for two hours. If you don't like it, you can just refund for no. Really, it's totally fine. If you don't like the game, refund it. You know, so uh, it's kind of a demo, I'd say, and uh, some uh, game devs agree. And I don't, I don't, don't like the idea of just a, play, a demo uh, in the first place. So yeah, pretty much uh, the refund is is a pretty good feature. Pretty cool feature. Just play a bit, and if you don't like, you can refund it. And that's totally fine because the game is not for everyone, and I'm aware of that. As you can, we have 91% uh, positive feedback, but so. 9% of the people don't don't seem to like it or think, uh, think that's something missing and I'm fine with that because well uh, eventually I will fix uh, some things, I will add some stuff but uh, there, is there will always be someone who don't like the game so <laughs> I think that's fine and Okay then, no more questions then. Then th uh, thank you everyone, closing this now, and until the next uh, devlog. Okay. If you have any more questions later, you can uh, the the streaming will stay uh, saved here on, on YouTube, so you can rewatch it. You can watch it, and you can post the the questions in the comments. So let me know if you have anything so until next devlog and Lyle's getting out logging out <laughs> and see you next see you bye bye